Hi everyone, welcome back to A Creatively Crafted Life. My name is Melanie and this is another Smash Our Stash collaboration video where we are focusing on items in our stash to try and use them up. As I mentioned, this is a collaboration and it is a hashtag collaboration, which means you should click on the hashtag in the title of this video or in the description below and that will pull up all of the corresponding videos in this collaboration so you can see them, so you can see them all. Check out what everybody is doing with this particular challenge this month. Speaking of the challenge this month, it is dealing with fi fabric and fibers, ribbon, twine, you know, that kind of general category. You'll see in front of you a small box that I have some items in here that I would love to use this month. Um, obviously I have an issue with putting stuff away and so I often will just collect stuff and then try and use it in projects so that I don't have to deal with it. We'll see how I do this month. This is my starting off point. Of course my stash is always available if I get so inspired to pull something else but that is where I am starting off today and without further ado let me show you what I made. Okay, so I think I finished playing for this month. I hadn't realized that this was already made into a tassel. I just hadn't trimmed it. So this is actually going to go in my tassel box. I didn't touch the screen ribbon at all. And I've got some rick rack that I'm just going to spool onto this board. I used up quite a bit of the tool, so I only have a little piece left. I still have a lot of this uh, twine left. These were actually intended to be used for tags so I think that might be what I do is just place them with my tags and then I have used up a fair amount of this roll. It was a brand new roll so fair amount and then I had some little bits and pieces left over so let me share with you how I used this up. So I pulled out my card start box and so these are cards that are in the works. They were either bases with scraps or perhaps they already had a focal element or just waiting for a sentiment, finishing touches, etc. etc. So for this one here it was pretty much done with the exception of this little bow and I think that's the finishing touch it needs so I'm going to consider this one done. For this one I had this card already pre-done up. I pulled some yellow cardstock from my scrap panels and added this orange ribbon and I'm considering this one finished. This one I had worked on in last month's Smasher Stash where I had added these two elements and so this time I added the twine and I placed this on a card. I think this still needs something like maybe some enamel dots or something like that so this is going to go back in that bin. You'll probably see it again when we go through those items in our stash. For this one I added the stripe of ribbon at the bottom and again I think this still needs some finishing touches. Maybe some black sequins or black gems, something like that. So again that one will probably come back up. This one I think I might just leave as is as more of a masculine type card. Obviously I added the ribbon along the bottom, the chevron pattern I had done previously. And then I had ha had this sentiment just sitting there, so I popped that on. So I, I think I'm going to consider this one done. Same kind of idea. I had a bunch of these um, old pieces from Creative Memories. That's the same with a similar card where I had done these patterns before. I had this cut apart just sitting in a bin, so I used that. Added the ribbon. I think this needs still something. Again, probably enamel dots of that sort. And then we get into the ones that just need a sentiment. So this one I added the twine along the edge, so it just needs a sentiment. This one I added the twine along the top, and again, just a sentiment. And then I had these foiled panels. I had been experimenting with foiling, and I had these sitting in um, a bin waiting to be used, so I thought why not make it look like a gift, like a present. And I'm thinking I will probably add like a gift tag and then with a sentiment on it. So I have two of two of those. And again, I use the ribbon. This was one of the cards where I used that glitter ribbon on, and I think this one just needs a sentiment to consider that one done. Here I use the orange ribbon and that glitter ribbon again. I think this just needs like a happy birthday, just a small little happy birthday on here. 
This one I added the gold ribbon across the top and again I think it just needs a sentiment of some sort to consider this one done. I added the little twine bow and I'm thinking a sentiment but this one might be might be done. I don't know. I gotta think about that one a little bit more. For this one I added the twine across the dividing between the two pieces of paper. This one I added that ribbon along the edge. This is where I used some of that tool. I'm not sure yet how I want to finish this one off. I'm thinking it needs a big sentiment. And this was another one that I added that tool on here and I think this just either needs, no I think this just needs a sentiment and we'll consider that one done as well. So that is it my friends for this month's Smash or Stash. I hope you play along. Please be sure to click on the hashtag to see all the other collaborators. I'm sure they have some great ideas for things that they did with fibers, ribbon, twine, lace, etc. And until next time, happy crafting.